pretty good. You rolling? You're rolling. Okay. Like a motherfucking blunt. All right. Okay. Hey, new camera guy. Okay. <laughs> this is your internship. I need you to be punctual. And you got to do it now. I ain't got I no need call. you to be on point. Okay. I'm always on point, but I ain't going to be on time because K-Trans don't run on time all time. It's not K-Trans anymore. It's Cat. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to another episode of At The Crib Cooking. Today we're going to do a three bean chili. And we got for ingredients, we got two different cans of diced tomatoes. We got petite ones and we have regular diced ones. Both have different things in them. One has green chilies in it and the other one has onions. Yeah, that. So, and also... We got some white bean chili and hot chili beans and then some kidney beans. Now we're using canned because ain't nobody got time for all that boiling shit for four and five hours and all that extra shit. Nobody wants to do that. So we're going to cut a corner with the cans. It's still going to taste like you made it because you're going to add so much different stuff to it and it's not going to be what's in that can. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get all our cans put together and let them get simmering and brewing together. That way all the flavors come together. So. We're going to simmer them together. That's when you like bring them to a boil and then cut them down and just let it just simmer and it bubbles a little bit, not profusely. Did I use that word correctly? Yes, you did, sir. All right, so that's what we're going to do. Anyway. Are you going to talk to me like we in college the whole time? I'm not going to understand all your words, man. I went to college, but I didn't attend class. I went to class and I didn't attend college, so whatever. <laughs> I could have did this beforehand, but you know what I mean? Just the effect of me doing it seems cool. It ain't. After you get all your cans opened, Ah, uh -huh. can yeah. opener supposed to do that for you, ain't it, bro? Do you got one of these type can openers? I don't even have a can opener. You got that can opener, that prehistoric shit. I got the little pool tab cans. And after you get all your cans opened, ah, uh -huh. can yeah. opener supposed to do that for you, ain't it, bro? You got one of these type can openers? I don't even have a can opener. You got that can opener that's prehistoric shit. I got the little pool tab cans. You're gonna use three cans of the regular chili bean. Ugh. Oh man. And then your tomatoes. And for these kidney beans, I'm going to cook these for about 5-10 minutes by themselves. Because they're pretty dark and the color kind of bleeds real bad. So I'm going to go ahead and cook these a little bit. Plus to soften them up, but they're kind of tough. And also you want to add, this is about a whole bell pepper. You want to add half of it. Because you're going to use the other half for your meat. Half of an onion. A little spice. Got three jalapenos. We're just gonna put them in our hole. And I also have some garlic that I'm gonna mince up and put in, but I'm gonna do that in a second a little later. And then some of this chili powder mix, you really don't have to use it, but since I don't have the money and I'm cheap and I don't feel like spending ten dollars on no cumin or cumin or however you want to pronounce it. I bought this. It so, is what it is, baby. You know what I'm saying? It is. <laughs> know it ain't the car. Too. It's the dude in the car. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. So you put about two teaspoons or a tablespoon in it. Now you're going to add about a quarter to a half a cup of water. Add and stir, add and stir. You don't want it too runny. This is kind of the consistency you're looking for. Like I said, you can add more water. 
Because once it cooks, it's going to thicken up and cook down a little bit. So if you feel like it's too runny, it shouldn't. Unless you just add a whole cup of water. And then you don't want to add too much water because you'll dilute your, your seasonings and spices. Now we got that going on. Go ahead. Get those kidney beans going. You want to drain that juice off. I guess this safe because it ain't grease, huh? <laughs> All right, now you got your kidney beans on. You can go ahead and start with your hamburger meat. I got two pounds of hamburger meat, ground chuck. Now the higher it goes, people don't know this because I didn't know this at first, the higher the percentage of fat is the more grease you're gonna create. So, I still got the cheap shit. So for less grease, I wanna go for less fat? Yeah, it'll be like the 90, 10%. Okay. But it costs more, of course, so. After you get it in there, you're going to season it with a little bit of tiger seasoning. A little season salt of your preference. I switch it up from Lowry's to regular McCormick's just depending on the meat I'm cooking. And then add a little bit of chili powder to your meat. And we're going to also add some of this garlic to the meat as well as in the chili that's simmering already. Let me get this good going and then as I get it good and simmering or frying, however you want to call it, Mr. Terminology. <laughs> I'm gonna cut up my mince, my garlic, and add it to this as well as add to that. But while this is doing what it's doing, I'm gonna go ahead and add the green pepper and onion. Okay. Okay, so you saute some of your vegetables with your meat as well. Yes, sir. Okay, that's spreading the flavor. You look that's like good. you know what you're doing. You look like you know what you're doing. You look like you don't. <laughs> anyway. Don't cry, man. Be strong. That is when you do something so good sometimes, it's like you'll make yourself, you know. It's like you're preaching to me now. You're preaching. And I've been trying to, my life to do something. Okay. Constructing with myself. Oh, my God. <laughs> so y'all can check me out. Go to the Facebook, Little Twin Space Blair, Instagram, Little Twin Seventy Three. You're always gonna see me sharing Danny Daylight. This is my peoples. We proud of him for doing his little cooking thing. He been talking about it for a minute, so he said he had to finally share his little knowledge. We proud he doing it. All right, and the violin stops. Uh, violin don't play when you're speaking real, bro. In every movie scene when the violin's playing, they're spitting something real. They're speaking sad. Sad is real. Life's real. Sometimes life's sad. You cooking ain't sad. Well, I, I hope know, it man. ain't. It better not be, but you know, I'll tell you at the end when I taste it. But I've tasted your stuff before, so I know I'm going to be pleasantly pleased. Say that for the camera, nigga. I'm that shit. Anyway. You know, on behalf of me and the other viewers... We like to say we really appreciate you doing that because a lot of people that do this don't even take the time to wash their hands or even show us that they wash their hands. So on behalf of the viewers of Dunny Daylight, bro, we appreciate it, Dunny. You can put your pom down now. You bought the kidney beans long enough, so now you can go ahead and drain them and get them ready to put in the chili. In your meat selection, you don't have to use hamburger meat. I know I use hamburger meat a lot, but... You can also use turkey meat. Or go vegan or vegetarian and don't use any meat at all. Hey Dunny. What's up? Who had a lot of influence on your cooking? Hmm? Who had a lot of influence on you cooking? Hunger. I was hungry and I wanted something to taste good. So I figured out how to make it. I mean, I'm self-made. Dunny self made, remember that. Thank you, Mama. Yeah, I'm about to say we appreciate that. You smart. <laughs> Being cool is so hot. I'm gonna take this off. Oh shit, he looked like a B Street breaker. Now he about to get down. Oh, where he at? Okay. Hey, it ain't we in the kitchen. We in the oh, kitchen. Okay. We in the kitchen. I'm about to Dad, we're gonna do us some cornbread. Usually you may do like a little grilled cheese or something, but I want some cornbread with my chili today, so. I'm going to hit you up some corn and dump it in the pot. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and start on our cornbread. 
wire chili simmering. Now you need you some cornmeal, some sugar. You can use vegetable oil or like some shortening. I use vegetable oil. And some buttermilk. My secret ingredient. Mayonnaise. One about. That's a cast iron skillet. Two tablespoons. Yes, it's cast iron. Yes. Granny style. That's what you want to call it. That's the original way, baby. Go ahead and put your some in there. You want enough to where it coats the bottom evenly. Don't worry about the extra that you see in the cast iron because you're going to use that in the cornbread. Once you get in there, you take it. You're going to bake your cornbread at 400. So go ahead and preheat your skillet with the oven. Now, you use one and a half, two cups of cornmeal. I also need one egg. And the sugar, that kind of varies depending on how sweet you want it. But since this is chili, I don't really want it that sweet, so I'm just going to use like a quarter cup of sugar. See, they bark and it smells so good. Why are you playing, man? It could be that. Why are you playing? You did that like you got skill. You seen it. You seen it. You seen it. <laughs> man, you smiling because it worked. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it was. I didn't think it was. <laughs> didn't grow up. Anyway. Uh, I can't grow no more. He stopped it. Use two tablespoons of mayonnaise. What does it do? I don't know. I think it helps make it moist. My granddad told me to do it, so I use it. And it works for me, so why change it? If it's broke, don't fix it. And a cup and a half to two cups of buttermilk. And also, for your chili or your cornbread, since you're making the cornbread with the chili, you can also add either some cream corn or some jalapenos. Look at the flick of the wrist! That's coming together. Carefully switch this around on the sides. Take your residual. Now you bake it for like 25 to 30 minutes or when it's nice and golden brown on top. You sure you don't want me to go ahead and just taste that, man? No, it's not ready. Done it! What the fuck you? Hey! What's up? Uh, was just telling them, check out Dunny Daylight. Wasn't touching the spoon. Wasn't even close to the bowl. That's, that's the truth, and they'll tell you. Right? You tell them? So, you hear what I'm telling you? This shit's fire. <laughs> what are you talking about? And it ain't even a cheese shit. I just want to taste the cheese. You can't taste the cheese. You taste the chili. I want to see what the what? I just want to see what it tastes like with the cheese. This shit fire. What? It's your boy Dunny. Special oh. tune it in. It's fire. What?